Brad, do you hear about J-Lo? Get over here, Ray. I need more RTO. Let me understand this. My RTO has just been burned in his tent by an exploding portable stove. Me and Brad spent $500 of our own money just fixing up the Humvee. Bought our own antennas, filters, these cami nets, and painted it ourselves. So yeah, Holmes. We pimping. Brad, we have major activity on the wire. Two zero unidentified victors at the checkpoint. Fuck, they're coming through the gates. Unfucking believe. Shit is on. Has to be. Surgeon Brad, we're fucking almost Oscar Mike. Me? Can I have just one final moment enjoying the fruits of civilization? We are breaking open the mob suit. Knight reports that negotiations are taking place for a ceasefire. He said the only topic for discussion with Saddam Hussein was unconditional. Kick the hornet's nest. But the Iraqi leader quoted on state television. Now we better kill all the fucking hornets. Great, great. How much ripped fuel have you ingested? I'm on it like a motherfucker, Brad. <laughs> Moto, dude! Well, no more of that shit. When you do rip fuel, you can't chill out. All hit man victors, all hit man victors. No, Saddam's just part of the problem. Look, if Saddam invested more in the pussy infrastructure of Iraq than he did on his fucking gay ass army, then this country would be no more fucked up than, say, Mexico. Great. Please shut up. Thank you. All Hitman 2. Hey buddy, it's 10 in the morning! Don't you think you ought to change out of your pajamas? Get out of the Marine Corps. Get your brains back. Good dump, Sergeant. Excellent. Shit my brains out. Not too hard, not too runny. Sucks when it's runny and you have to wipe 50 times. That's not what I'm talking about. If it's too hard or too soft, something's not right. You might have a problem that affects combat readiness. And it should be a little bit acid, Trom. We burn your asshole a little when it comes out. Well, maybe on your little bitch asshole, Ray. From all the cock that's been stuffed up in. You know, there ought to at least be some sort of grammar test before you're out here blowing shit up with heavy weapons. If they did that, fucking buck tooth cross-eyed sister fucking hicks like you wouldn't get in either. <laughs> fucking trespass commercial, man. I got so many fucking guys. Now look at us. Probably hasn't killed anybody. I am half a world away from good Thai pussy, and Colbert is out here rolling around fuck butt Iraq hunting for dragons in a mop suit that smells like four days of piss and ball sweat. <laughs> nice. It's nice having a friend. We got fucking lit up. All Hitman 2 victors, this is Hitman 2. Roger. <laughs> Man. Damn, sucker. I just got some. Look at me, Brad. I'm a man now. Just like you. Except I'm gonna look like a faggot and talk all educated. Hey, Brad, do your big gal for me. Come on, buddy! 
Do it for your old pal, Ray. The one who made the right turn. Well, hello there, little pup. I'm Big Gay Al. Have you been out, Kath? Why would our Iraqi brethren want 400 pounds of C4 claymores and crates of M16? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait. You know, they could be using all that C4 for, like, a giant 4th of July celebration. What do you think, Brad? I think it's time for you to shut the fuck up. Hitman 2-3 two, is Hitman 2-2. Two, two. What's my six? Taking a dump. And it's for that reason that we are congregating right now for a brief oh, the service. Other thing, so <clears throat> the other thing is, is that my team leader here, Sergeant Colbert, mm. yeah, he was born a Hebrew and remains a practicing Christ killer. So, I, it's purely out of respect for him, I feel as if I'm gonna have to forgo your festive rituals. If my mother ever distributed my likeness without written authorization, I would disown her. Technically speaking, Brad, but didn't your biological parents disown you when they put you up for adoption? Point, Ray. I was one of those unfortunates adopted by upper middle class professionals and nurtured in an environment of learning, art, and a socio-religious culture steeped in more than 2,000 years of Talmudic tradition. Not everyone is lucky enough to have been raised in a whiskey tango trailer park by a bow-legged female whose sole qualification for motherhood is a womb that happened to catch the sperm of a passing truck driver. At least my mom took me to NASCAR. Hey, hey, hey. You guys. I just did a really dirty thing. You know that picture of Rolling Stone's girlfriend? I think it's safe to say we all know her intimately at this point. Well, I got it back from Bravo 3, and I swear to God I was going to give it back to him, but I ran into Wasik on the way over here. I traded that bitch for some Peck 2 batteries. <laughs> right, you pimped her out. She is a dirty little hoochie, isn't she? You know, Iraqis don't really seem good at fighting. Then they never really completely surrender, either. Put down that fucking milkshake and dig a fucking hole. Why, so I can be more like the teacher's pet? Yeah, that's exactly it. You should be more like Trombley. More like Trombley? More like Trombley? <laughs> Jugs! No, 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 wait, 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 not yet. I need, to, I need some time with this alone! Brad, check out the retard Kazavacking lamb chops. Oh, man, that's fucking intense when you think about it, Holmes. I mean, here's this poor farmer who's Great. out there in the middle. Shut the fuck up. Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. God damn it, Ray! No country music. Okay? Dude, it's not a country song, it's a cowboy song. Hey, where the fuck did you go? You haven't said two words since Baghdad. No more rip fuel. Pipers, 100 million angels singing, multitudes are marching to the big kettle drum, voices calling, voices crying, some are born and some are 